the Kennedy Center definition of arts integration. Across the nation, there's been a growing interest in arts integration as an approach to teaching in which the arts leverage learning in other subject areas such as science, language arts, mathematics, and social studies. Since 1999, the Kennedy Center has been working with a network of partnership schools to provide professional learning experiences for teachers to learn about arts integration. Fresno Unified is one of those partnerships. The Kennedy Center has developed a definition of arts integration. This definition helps teachers know exactly what arts education is and how it differs from teaching the arts or just using the arts in the classroom. Let's take a closer look. Let's read the definition. Arts integration is an approach to teaching in which students construct and demonstrate understanding through an art form. Students engage in a creative process which connects an art form and another subject area and meets evolving objectives in both. On the website, key terms from the definition are broken down to help explain what it means. Let's take a brief look at these terms and what they look like in the classroom. An approach to teaching refers to how something is taught rather than what is taught. As an approach to teaching, arts integration relies heavily on student-centered instruction. This approach to teaching is experiential and collaborative. Practices in this approach include drawing on students' prior knowledge and active hands-on learning with authentic problems for students to solve. Students have opportunities to assess each other's work and learn from each other. A positive classroom environment where students are encouraged to take risks and students reflect about what they learned, how they learned it, and what it means to them. Arts integration provides multiple ways for students to make sense of what they learn and to make their learning visible, or as the definition states, construct and demonstrate understanding. It challenges students to take the information and facts they've learned and do something with them. As the quote says, in the arts, students have central and active roles as meaning makers. When it comes to the arts, students can construct and demonstrate their understanding in many ways. Traditionally, they're asked to communicate their learning through a report or a test. However, teachers are now encouraged to plan instruction that engages students in visual, aural, and kinesthetic learning modalities. When they're involved in arts integration, their learning is evident in the products they create, such as a dance, a painting, or a dramatization. The heart of arts integration is engagement in the creative process. Arts integration requires that students do more than repeat a song, copy an art project, or follow stage directions. They must create something that is original and has value. It's important to remember the creative process can be messy. It's often difficult to predict what will happen or what will be discovered while learners engage in inquiry and experimentation. If teachers are overly concerned with a neat product, they tend to make creative choices for their students. In these cases, the creative process is only for the teacher. Remember, it is the teacher's responsibility to set a creative problem for students, not to take over and solve it for them. A key aspect of arts integration is interdisciplinary connections. Connections are made between a specific art form and a specific curriculum area. For example, collage can be connected to the study of geographical regions, or tableau can be connected to a moment from history. It works best when connections are mutually reinforcing within a cycle. This final part of the definition underscores two main ideas. First, arts integration requires teachers to set objectives in both the art form and the other subject area. The dual objectives are balanced. Students are accountable for significant learning in both the art form and the other subject. 
Second, just as objectives evolve and challenge students to deepen their skills in language arts, objectives in the art form must also evolve if students are to remain challenged. A student does not learn to express ideas through dance in one lesson. It takes time to develop skills in the arts, just as any other subject. So how do you know if you're teaching an arts integrated lesson? Well, the Kennedy Center has provided an arts integration checklist to help. The items can help teachers identify when their approach to teaching is indeed integrated. We will take a closer look at this later. Many teachers confuse any inclusion of the arts in the classroom with arts integration. While all types of arts-based instruction are encouraged, it's helpful for teachers to know when they are engaged in arts integration and when they're doing some other form of arts-based learning. And that is a quick breakdown of the definition from the Kennedy Center. Soon, you will have an opportunity to put it in practice in your own classroom. I hope you found this presentation to be helpful. You can download it from the iAccess website if you would like a copy for future reference. You can pay special attention to the notes. They contain more information.